Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on NiceHash in 2024. So today, we're diving into the realm of security by exploring how to enable the 2FA on NiceHash, which is the two-factor authentication. With 2FA, you can add an extra layer of protection or security to your NiceHash account, safeguarding your valuable crypto assets. So join me as I walk you through the process of doing that and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically you'll need to go to this URL section and type nice hash com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of nice hash right away so if you have an account basically just go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account of course you can log into your account using google or apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account and the same will be for getting started or creating a new account if you don't have an account so you'll be able to use google or apple as an example for me i'll just go here and choose google and login into my account and yeah i confirmed that i read that and click on create an account so as you can see i already have an account as simple as that without entering anything manually which is very very helpful so now once you're on your account if you just created your account you will normally get this option which is stay saved and enable the two-factor authentication so you basically don't have to access any settings or don't have to do anything but in case you didn't find this, so for, of course for you if, you, if you find this here, so as you can see, your account does not have 2FA protection enabled yet, enable it now to prevent any unauthorized access and secure your funds. So if you click on it, they will take you right away where you should go. But let's say that you don't have it here and you don't find it. So what you should or where you should go? Simply go to your icon at the top right corner, click on that. And in here, as you can see, you'll find my settings option. Simply go and click on that. Here, go to this left panel and basically go and click on security. Once you click on security, as you can see, you'll find here set password, two-factor authentication recommended, and Ubico OTP device, and ONC patient recommended. So for us, we are going to use the two-factor authentication, as we said in this video. So you can use your mobile phone to confirm your identity at login, withdrawals, API key creation, and password change for enhanced security. So simply go and click on enable the two-factor authentication right away. Once you click on it, as you can see, you will have first of all to get any authenticator, uh, authenticator app from Google Play or App Store. Of course, there are a lot of apps that you can choose from. So for me in this video, I'm going to use like Google Authenticator. For you, you can use that. You can use Microsoft Authenticator. You can use MyDeo. You can use Password One. You can use Authenti. You can use a lot of apps. So whatever suits you, just go and download it and use it. For me as an example, I'm going to use this Google Authenticator. So it's going to be the icon like that. And once you download it, you'll find yourself on a page like this. Simply, you'll have to click on Get Started to log in into your account. Of course, you'll have to log in into a Google account that you already normally have. And then you'll have to click on this plus button. Once you click on plus button, you'll find two options. You'll find the option of scan QR code or you'll find the option of enter the setup key. So if for some reason you can't scan a QR code, you can enter a setup key and where you will find it, as you can see, here's this secret key or setup key. You'll have to simply enter it out. And if you enter the setup key, you'll have to even give it a label. The label is just this name, as you can see in black. So you can name it like nice hash so you can uh, different it uh, or uh, so you can, of course, know which one is for nice hash uh, which one for google which one for verizon which one for uh, uh, binance and etc so as an example name it uh, name it like nice hash enter the setup key and click on next and they will give you a code like this which will change every 20 seconds or 30 seconds or as we said if you don't want to do everything manually and you can scan the QR code you simply just scan it with your phone so for me, I'll just go open Google Authenticator, click on plus button, click on scan QR code, and simply scan that code in here. Once I scan it, uh, something will be added here, another section with nice hash, and of course with the code. So simply go and click in here on next, and basically I'll have to enter 
the email verification code and six digital 2FA security code. So first, I'll simply go and open my email provider with Gmail in here and get the code from here. So as you can see, this is the following code. As you can see, it's a lot. So I'll basically go and enter that. And here for this QR code or for this uh, code, I'll simply enter the code provided in here. So I'll just go and look it into my phone and this is going to be the code. So 535 and 70, then two. Click on verify. And as you can see, the two factor authentication backup codes. What are those backup codes? Those codes in case if you lost your phone or you don't have access to that phone anymore. So uh, you'll be able to get back or enable another like factor authentication or delete it or do something so you can access your account. They will give you this code. So make sure to save it. As you can see, you can use these backup codes if you lose access to your authenticator device and you can use each code only once. So please copy or make a copy of these codes and you can uh, store it somewhere. Save to avoid uh, additional, of course, uh, administrative like costs. So you can copy, copy it manually somewhere on your PC or print it on a paper, do whatever you want. Then click on yes, I have saved the backup codes in a safe place, then click on close the window. As you can see, the two-factor authentication option is now already enabled. Of course, you can always go back to your settings. So let's say we're on dashboard. You can always go back to settings and click on my settings and go to security if you want to disable it. So simply click on disable two-factor authentication. And what you will need is simply enter the code provided by the app on Google Authenticator. So for me, as an example, if I enter it out in here, so and click on disable, as you can see, it will disable it and it will log me out from that device. It will not log you out just from this one. It will log you out from every other session that you have. So you'll have to log in again from every other session. And as you can see, once you're logged in again, you will find it's not enabled. So go back to your settings, security, and you will not find it enabled. And yeah, so there you have it. I successfully showed you how to enable and disable 2FA on your nice hash accounts in 2024 with 2fa activated your cryptocurrency assets are now better protected against any unauthorized access so thank you for prioritizing the security of your crypto journey with nice hash and of course if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one so thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.